everyone, Pastor Ian Wolf from The Pastor's Flashlight, and I've got a very different type of video for you today. I also have with me my director and my assistant director. My director is behind the camera. Say hi, director. Hi, director. Very good. <laughs> and the assistant director to my left. Hi. There he is. Uh, they are keeping me on task uh, for this video. So appreciate the work that both of them are doing. It's It's been a challenge for them, but they have done exceptionally well trying to keep me focused and on task. I have for you today a different type of video than I've ever done. It is my first and hopefully maybe a series of videos related to one of the hobbies that I'm kind of passionate about or at least very interested in, and that is uh, the fountain pen hobby. I've been using fountain pens, oh gosh, uh, for about five years now, kind of every day. I write a lot as a pastor. I write sermons. I write notes, study notes, uh, stuff for Bible studies, sermons, and uh, the best way to write, if you're going to have to uh, write for any lengthy period of time, is with a fountain pen. And so in uh, in coming videos, I'll show you some of those that I use and I'll talk a little bit more about the hobby. But today, that's not this video. This video is an unboxing video, something that I have never done before, but I've seen on YouTube and, and they're kind of fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about this pin. It's something I've been wanting for quite some time, and uh, now I get to see it, and I'm glad you're here to share that experience with me. All right, director, are we ready? Sure. Sure. All right, assistant director, are we ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get to the unboxing. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, Pastor Wolf back with the unboxing video. Here is the box. Here is the opener. I bought this pen from Bryant Greer over at Chatterley Luxuries. I just want to say before we unbox this uh, how appreciative I have been of Bryant. Uh, I've asked him several questions, and he was always willing to email me back right away with uh, any answers that he could give me. So thank you, Bryant. Uh, thank you for sending this my way. Uh, well, you kind of had to since I bought it, but I'm looking forward to opening it. I do have my assistant director and my director still here with me. Say hello, director. Hello. And there was the assistant director talking over. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's so exciting. Hey, this has been packed very well, very safe and secure. And here we are. Well, now you know what brand it is. Let's zoom in here. Uh, the Italian brand Visconti, a maker of fine, exquisite pens. And this is a cardboard outer sleeve. And there is our pen. Right there. Beautiful, nice Visconti box here. And as you saw, it's the Homo sapiens magma. And to denote that, it's got the red trim all the way around the box, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is very exciting. And we open up the box, and there it is. So cool. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What's even cooler about this pen is that this pen is manufactured, oh, it feels good in the hand too, manufactured in Italy. It is made out of basaltic lava, and that's what this dark material is. It's actually made from 
a mix of resin and basaltic lava from Mount Etna in, in Italy. And then they machine it into this wonderful, beautiful fountain pen. Has a hook safe lock. So it just is a quarter turn to uncap the pen. And there is the beautiful uh, medium palladium nib. Very beautiful. It's a power filler, which means it is a, that's what they call their vac filler. So you, uh, you unscrew this back piston, pull out the rod, it creates a vacuum in here. You stick it in a bottle of ink, push down, the seal breaks, and vacuum gets sucked up into the pin. That's pretty cool. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Bryant. Um, and I can't wait to get started using this pin. Hello everyone, uh, Pastor Ian Wolf back with the Pastor's Flashlight and the rest of this unboxing video. I thought what I would do is move the boxes out of the way and really focus in on this pen. This is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma Edition. There are different finishes. Uh, there was a steel age at one point. Uh, or a Silver Age. No, there still is a Steel Age, I think. There is a Bronze Age, which has bronze, 100% uh, bronze trimming. There is a Dark Edition, which has all of these um, markings, all these furniture pieces as, as rings and clip and all that kind of stuff in a ruthenium-coated, um, darked-out metal. This is the Magma Edition, and it is a fiery uh, red. It really just pops against this dark black, uh, somewhat gray material. The material is, as I mentioned in the uh, unboxing portion of this video, made out of a combination of 50% 50, 50 roughly basaltic lava, and 50% resin. Now I'm going to bring this pin up just a little bit so you can see the pores catching the light there. Uh, and those pores are indicative of that basaltic lava, right? It just looks like rock. Because it's made out of this combination of basaltic rock and resin, this pin is virtually indestructible. It can withstand high heats. Uh, it's not going to scratch. It's not going to scrape. Uh, it feels nice and kind of cool to the hand. There's this kind of ambient temperature that it has. It doesn't feel um, plasticky. It doesn't feel rubbery. It just feels like a natural material, kind of a, a rock-like material. It has this bridge clip on it, this... Uh, is reminiscent of the Ponte Vecchio Bridge in Florence, I believe, where Visconti is housed. It has these double rings up here, uh, a center band, which simply says Homo sapiens on the front, and uh, the V for Vis Visconti on the back. One thing that kind of I really appreciated in this pin is that the clip lines up, the threads line up right in the center of Homo sapiens, and the back matches up perfectly with the feed. So we're going to take the cap off there. If you see the Visconti nib uh, lines up perfectly with the Homo sapiens, and on the back the feed almost 100% matches up in a straight line with the V. I think it might be off by half degree. It's kind of hard to tell, but um, that just, that makes me happy. It does feature the Visconti hook safe mechanism. So you'll see these kind of chunky threads on in the inner cap. That allows the pin to be opened and closed in just a quarter of a turn. So push and it's off. Make sure I watch what I'm doing here. It's, 
uh, it rotates. Uh, I think there's what five or six threads, so uh, it can then line up center so that the clip does correspond right down through uh, the middle of Homo sapiens. Sometimes I've heard on on these Viscontis that that doesn't always line up perfectly, but this matches up 100%. The top is this uh, ruthenium plated finial with the Visconti logo. Let's see if you can, uh, can kind of focus there. Not on my not on my hands. This is in place uh, via a, a rather strong magnet and it can be removed and Visconti has a, a series of gemstones that you can put in here as well as initials so you can personalize your Homo sapiens pin. I think it's called the Visconti My Pin System. So you can get, uh, if you just have a strong magnet, you can pull this off and replace it with either a gemstone or with your initials. I think there's zodiac signs as well. Uh, the pin is fairly uh, straight, but does come up ever so slightly, and then is straight all the way through to about here, and then tapers off towards the end. The pen is fitted with a 23 uh, karat palladium nib in a ruthenium trim. It has the sort of beautiful uh, Visconti floret on the on the nib, along with that crescent uh, crescent breather hole, which is is really beautiful. I don't you can see that. Now this is a medium nib and it has a, a plastic feed on it. It does have this uh, red ring here towards the uh, end of the grip section, which is distinct from all of the other Homo sapien models. Uh, none of them, not the Bronze Age or the Dark Age, have this metal ring, and I really like it. It, it really makes the pin pop just that much more. The pin fits very comfortably in the hand. Uh, not a very big grip section, but you don't need it. And uh, this ring really doesn't uh, doesn't get in the way of holding the pen. It's very well balanced. And it feels really good in the hand. Like I said, the pen is straight till about here, and then it sort of tapers off towards the end. The pen does post and fits fairly snugly, uh, but it. Well, it doesn't even back weight the pin all that much. So it makes it long, but it's actually really comfortable in the hand. That surprises me. I thought it might be a little bit heavier and throw the weight off towards the back, but it, it doesn't. I typically don't post my pins, but you totally could do it with this one. It just feels a little bit long, uh, but the balance on it is still not bad. A very, very good Visconti. That's awesome. I was not expecting that. And it just uh, pulls off. Filling mechanism of the Visconti Homo sapiens features its power filler system. So you can't see it, but on the inside of this barrel is a hollow tube that flares out towards the end. So if you can kind of picture it kind of flaring out. Uh, and then a piston runs right down the center of it with a seal on it. So to fill it, you unscrew this piston knob, and that uh, releases the piston. The, uh, the seal is going to be pulled up towards the back of the pin, and it creates a vacuum behind here, so that when you push, push the, the seal forward, uh, it's creating a vacuum in this in this space, and then where that flares out somewhere around in here, the vacuum releases and ink is sucked in through the uh, feeder hole, probably somewhere down there. You might not be able to see it, and that's how the pen fills. So you take your pen, you put it in a bottle of ink, which I happen to have. Diamine Red Dragon right here. Now this is not the normal bottle that Diamine Red Dragon comes in. Uh, I got it in one of their smaller 
plastic bottles, uh, but that bottle is not great for filling. I don't really like it. It has a very narrow hole on it. Uh, so I bought a empty bottle uh, from Goulet Pins. I think it cost a dollar for an empty bottle. Uh, and put that plastic bottle's contents in here and then relabeled it. So this works much better for filling. Uh, the other plastic bottles are fine, but they're not my favorite for, for filling. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this pin up uh, for the first time with Diamine Red Dragon. I think it'll be a nice little matching ink to go along with this pin to start off with. Uh, we're going to place the nib into the bottle. We're going to push down on this piston rod. The seal breaks. Ink gets sucked up into it. And then we can turn this, close it, and we should be good to write. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All right. Whenever filling a pen, make sure you have a handy dandy napkin because that will come in handy. All right, so let's give this a go. Let's see if you can See it here. It's always good on a vacuum filler to leave it in there for a second or two. Now with this, you want to make sure you wipe it off immediately. Because this uh, basaltic uh, lava material has a bit of uh, it's a bit porous, and so it will uh, suck in moisture. It's hygros hygroscopic, so it will absorb mo moisture, and it will absorb ink. So if you don't wipe it off right away, uh, it can stain uh, their section. But there we go. Always, too, remember when you are done filling, bottle of ink. Let's put the cap back on. There we go. Uh, we should be good to go with this Visconti Homo sapiens magma medium nib. It's a twenty three carat palladium nib and it is a medium nib. First thing I noticed just in writing with it, it is very smooth and a very nice wet writer. Um, I really like this line that it's laying down. And we had to get it started just a little bit but now now it's working really well. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies have been driving me nuts lately, and uh, it's, it's hard just to talk. Um, but it seems to have really nice, nice bit, bit of flow to the pen, so very good writer. And I prefer pens that um, are, are wet writers. I, I don't like... I like to see the ink. That's the best part about using a fountain pen, right? Is the variety of inks and the shading that you get with inks. And so this, this is just, uh, just perfect for me. All right. I, now these 23 karat Palladian Dream Touch nibs are, to, are usually fairly soft. So you can get a little bit of line variation out of them. But with the medium, it's not going to be much. And I, it's a brand new pen, but I don't want to push it too hard because I still haven't learned it yet. Uh, that's the one thing about fountain pens. Everyone is unique, and they all take a little bit uh, to learn. But as you can see, it gets uh, not terribly thin because it is a medium. 
uh, but it can it can produce a little bit of line variation. All right, so I think this is a pretty good. We'll do the standard quick brown fox jumps over the lazy. My handwriting is terrible on the other end of this tripod. So overall, this pen is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning to look at. The, the red accents really pop against the volcanic material and it, it really ties it well together. The ruthenium colored nib or coated nib is it's really beautiful and it just goes goes great with the pen. I am looking forward to using this uh, for some, some time to come. Maybe I'll do a fuller review at some point and let you know uh, how I am continuing to love it. But right now it's, it's beautiful, it's perfect, and it's just what I was looking for. Uh, thank you again, Bryant, over at Chatterley Luxuries. Uh, thank you for all your help in purchasing this pen for answering all the questions that I've had about this pen, about the other Homo sapiens and some other pens that are on my wish list. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in uh, another video. Bye. Better sneeze on camera then. Hi guys! Hey, he's got a sneeze. What do you even do? I don't know. I'm doing my harakara. Oh, is this your Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, no. Is this your Jimmy Fallon Sarah? Start button. Oh, hey everybody. Uh, Pastor Ian Wolf with the Pastor's Flashlight here. I have a different type of video, something I haven't done before. It's an unboxing video. And I have along with me my helpers, my uh, assistant director who is behind or in front of the camera here. Say hi. hi. Hello. And then I have the official director who is standing off to my right over there. And she is uh, camera, shy. camera shy. Say hi, director. Let the people know you're there. No, she's shaking me off. Hard pass. Hard pass. Rona. Now all of YouTube land is gonna think I've got the Ronas. Oh, I keep bumping on the table. Okay, 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 okay. okay.